Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. With prices soaring at the pump, filling up can be stressful. That's why Discover has your back with cash back. Use Discover to earn 5% cash back at gas stations and Target, now through June, on up to $1,500 in purchases when you activate. We know every dollar matters right now, but you can count on us. Get up to $75 cash back this quarter with your Discover It card. Limitations apply. Learn more at discover.com slash rewards. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at bjgeeknation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Well, who says TikTok, uh, you know, uh, can't be helpful? I never said it wasn't helpful. Oh, all right. Well, who said TikTok was useless? It helps me remind me why I shouldn't be on social media. Oh, that's what go. it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there's a, a woman on TikTok, and, uh, you know, she asked her young daughter what her answer would be. If a stranger came up and said, I'm your mom's friend, and she sent me to pick you up. Oh. Because, I mean, that's probably the biggest fear any parent has is that, you know, somebody will be mean to a child like that and, you know, try to pull some ridiculousness. So here's what the uh, little girl said. If a stranger came up to you and said, I'm your mom's friend, and she sent me to pick you up, what would you say? You're a liar because my mom doesn't have any friends. (laughs) (laughs) That's a great response. That is a fantastic response. This kid's a savage already. Yeah, I love this. I mean, the timing, all of that was really, really good. So um, I'm very, very excited for this child's future. So she's like, is that like a rock bottom moment? Or your mom's like, you know what? Maybe I need to be nicer to people. Yeah, I that need to start be. socializing. That is so awesome. You're a liar because my mom doesn't have any friends. Oh man, I want to hear that again. That 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 was uh, that's a priceless child moment. I hope she keeps that forever. If a stranger came up to you and said, "I'm your mom's friend," and she sent me to pick you up, what would you say? You're a liar because my mom doesn't have any friends. <laughs> <laughs> is it bad for me to say that I feel like I would be her friend? Oh my gosh! Yeah, that is bad for me to say. <laughs> it's not bad. Well, yeah, I'm just you know you don't know anything about her. Well, yeah, right. I mean, you don't look, know if she board games or not. From yeah. what, what I can tell, what if she hates board gamers and doesn't like Star Trek? Well, yeah, that would be and a problem. Jar Jar Binks is the greatest character ever. <laughs> that would that would have to be that would be a problem. You but still I mean, want to be her friend because look, she's attractive. There's, there's mom there dancing. She's a good dancer. Yeah, but do you see she's not dancing with anyone because she has no friends? Uh, that's good. well. That's why she needs me. Yeah. No, too bad. All right, fine. Whatever. Uh, the kid's awesome, though. Or what if the mom gave her that line? Yeah. It's like, you know what? If anyone comes up to you, you just, that, this is the perfect answer. They can't prove it wrong. Well, that makes the mom even cooler, doesn't it? I don't know. You're just obsessed with her now, aren't I you? Am, I can't help it. What's her way? Is she on, is she she's on the Insta? She's an imperfect mom. Oh, she's on the, tic- oh. on the TikTok. And she's imperfect. What about the she's other three? Right. The other three, forget about it. <laughs> Is that the, the first fa- three imperfect moms? <laughs> is that the new Fantastic Four movie, The Imperfect Four? Is oh, that sure, why not? <laughs> All right, let's do it. Because I'll tell you, that's what those movies were. Well, uh, you know what? Good, good for her. I mean, you, she's taking you know what is a safety thing and making a little bit of fun out of it, which I think is really awesome. Look, she likes humor. She likes fun and family. It's clear you guys can't be friends. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you don't like wow. any of those things. No. I feel like, you know, uh, opposites attract, guys. I feel like you've forgotten that attendant of love. Oh, she's addicted to Amazon. Okay, you guys well, like Well, there is that. I mean, I have that. But who isn't addicted to Amazon? And she's living an imperfect journey. Oh, 
All right. And she dances a lot. And she dances a lot. I see her do a lot of dancing. Well, that's TikTok, man. Yeah. Oh, look, she's got her own Amazon store thingy. Like, you could buy her stuff. Oh, the wish so, list. There you so go. buy her some stuff, and you can win her over to become friends. Yeah, maybe I'll be BFFs. Now, I've I wanna heard... I want to be your friend. I'll buy you a light bulb. I've heard people use these kind of stores to uh, do some illicit activity that, you know, that used to be the oldest profession. Is that, is that still going on? Oh, I don't know. You're asking the wrong person. But well, Have you guys heard that, where people set up an Amazon store, and it's their way of basically getting around the prostitution laws? Well, I've heard of hot chicks that are like on Amazon. They're like, here's my wish list. Buy it for me. If you buy something, I'll take a picture of myself in whatever you purchased. Oh, yeah, that's legit. And when you sign up for OnlyFans, you can put your uh, Amazon wish list on there for people mm-hmm. to just buy you stuff. So I don't know if you're getting sex out of the deal. It's more just like maybe like, you know, you're just kind of like that person that's hoping to get sex out of a deal but they're just stringing you along a little carrot on the stick yeah well, so it's a strip club at home you guys yes. you guys got to go to the darker version of the web you got to keep t- you got to keep digging oh, uh, that, that's uh, where rather you, not but that's, thanks that's where you get to the quality okay i mean it's just saying Thank you. No? Okay, fine. Whatever. I guess it's just me and Danny. Well, you can do, you can take care of the imperfect mom if you want. Well, you know, I mean, uh, well. Yeah, sugar Daddy BJ over there? Yeah, that'll be great. You know, seriously, I never want to be that guy. I mean, if I'm getting absolutely nothing but a picture, I'm sorry. I mean, there, I can get pictures anywhere. You know what I mean? I don't have to know the people. Right? You just do a thumbnail and then you just, you just hit freeze. Freeze frame, right? And you got a picture. Damn. What do I got to go pay somebody at their Amazon store for, Right? Right? All right, good. Oh, wow. is, it, is, it just me, is it just me and Danny? We're the yeah. only ones that do this? It's a Friday think, creep factor for BJ's. How did Danny get roped in yeah. this? Yeah. Now listen, who do you think gives me these ideas? I don't think anyone on this show has. Oh, no, yeah. no one. That's you. You're on that island, Obviously, buddy. you do not know Danny. Okay, that's all I'm saying. All right, you guys then. think you know Danny. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if people are buying things for people on Amazon and getting sex out of the deal. Oh, yeah. that's. I mean, I mean, I that's don't, absolutely happening? I do. I think that, uh, of course, the laws, uh, you know, the police or whatever, governmental agencies are heavily involved because it is a way around it. You know what I mean? Because a workaround, yeah. It is a workaround. I mean, granted, what these girls are doing is legal, but then again, we don't know how far they're going. Like, okay, you get a special picture, you get this, but what if you buy their whole wish list? I have a feeling that option does maybe, you know, include a meetup. You think? In some cases, yeah. I mean, well. Well, okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, everybody's a case-by-case situation. Oh, yeah, I'm not saying that these girls are just like, I'm really hot. You can buy me something and get nothing out of it. And it just sums up, well, sums up college and high school life for me. I was going to say the same thing, Steve. You're absolutely right. That's my, you know what? That's my college and high school so, career. So for me, it's like a uh, little, it's a form of nostalgia. Yeah, do it. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Let's go back to our old days. Let's go back to our glory days where we spent all our money and had nothing to show for it. Let's do it. That's what Danny does. Okay, sure. Okay. That's going to be my new one, Danny. I'm out today. That's going to be my new one, Danny. Anything, you you do everything for BJ, apparently. Every bad idea that ever comes up on this show, Danny, spoiler alert, that's what you do. I'm bringing donuts every morning. Oh, all right. Well, I think that should start today. (laughs) Yeah. We have a woman uh, who actually, you talk about an ingenious woman having her kid do something really funny like uh, that dancing mom did. How about this woman? She actually helped find a fugitive all because she... Well, she was trying to get revenge on her ex, and somehow that helped her find a fugitive. Steve will tell you all about it. He's got the mix report for you at 617 on The Rock. BJ and Mix, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound low, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details, U.S. only. Everything is better electrified like the guitar, toothbrushes, or cars. And Hyundai has the widest range of electrified vehicles on the market, including the first-ever Tucson and Santa Fe plug-in hybrid EVs. You can use electric when you want it or gas when you need it. It's your journey. Evolve it beyond the pump in the 2022 Tucson or Santa Fe plug-in hybrid EVs. Visit your nearest Hyundai dealer or learn more at HyundaiUSA.com. Call 562-314-4603 for complete details. Hello, Discover here. To explain our cash back match, here's how it works. We give you cash back for using your Discover card on the things you were going to buy anyway. Then we match that cash back in your first year. 
And that's why we call it Cashback Match. Now to recap and say cashback one more time. We match all the cash back you've earned at the end of your first year automatically. Discover. Exceptionally common sense. Learn more at discover.com slash match. Limitations apply. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Um, I cannot, I, I, I don't know if I can really say thank you enough. I mean, I'm going to give the hugest Fine, thanks you're welcome, BJ, you're welcome. Um, <laughs> I mean, The Rockaholics just made yesterday's Coast for Kids Day a ridiculously huge success. Our show, we were able to raise over $22,000. The men's room, able to raise over $19,000. All in all, we raised over forty-four grand, And um, we've, as, as a total, the whole time, I mean, we've raised nearly $65,000. It's a lot of coats for a lot of kids that are in need, man. What, a, what Us doing stupid pranks leads to something like that. I'm fine with getting a toilet bowl swirly. Yeah. I can't speak for Danny. I don't know how his stomach's doing after yesterday's uh, hot chip challenge. Oh, it it hurt, but it was totally worth it. When I saw that number, it was totally worth it. And I don't know if the ref's cold face is uh, worth it, but I would I would assume yes. Yes, it is, but it is very, very chilly. Oh, let me tell you how much it's worth it. For you. I cannot get Dominic Donkey out of my head. Nice. You and me both. My wife and I were singing it all last night. I played the video. She thoroughly enjoyed it. Here's the problem. You like the song. Yes. So imagine a song that I hate you know, not that I only have to sing it, but now it's in my damn head. I'm waking up and I'm hearing Jake and AJ. Yeah, I I mean, Sorry. so that's everybody. You got your money's worth. That's for sure. And those what, kids, man. What if because of this great thing that happened where we raised all this money, then all of a sudden it becomes your favorite song because it's now associated with something good, like putting coats on kids. You know what? Uh, that's no. not a bad spin. Okay. I don't think it's going to work, but at least it's a worth it's a worthy spin because you know what? I mean seriously, we're going to help out so many kids in the Northwest getting coats on them. And you still can donate cuz all it takes is 20 bucks to put a brand new coat in a kid that needs one. If you want more information, you want to share on your socials, you still can do it. Head to kisw.com to donate today. Well informed on the issues of the day? Not this guy. Live from the KISW News Center in downtown Seattle, this is the Migs Report. Well, thanks, you guys. Thanks to all the Rockaholics for donating and making Coach for Kids. They had a gigantic success yesterday. And today, why don't you enjoy yourself a bagel? It's have a bagel day. Oh, yeah. oh man, that's a good salt delicious. bagel. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, like mm. a salt bagel. Also, it's National App Day, so I figured I'd throw it out there. What's that one app you, cannot, you can't live without? Ooh. What's that one app? Oh. Chicken wings. Not appetizers. <laughs> Good call, Vic. You know what? I'm with Vicky. Amazing. I am with Vicky. There's a lot of great appetizers out there. I like fried chicken. What yeah. about apps on your phone that you can't eat? <laughs> mozzarella sticks. Yes. Yeah. I love the mozzarella. For a second, I'm like, you have a chicken wing app? That is so cool. Can you send it to me? Yeah, I have to say Google Maps. Google Maps? Yeah, I would be lost without it. There's so many to pick from, but the first one that pops into my mind is the, now the Ring app. I just love seeing who's at my front door. <laughs> really? Yeah, I think it's fun. Wow. It is like, pretty entertaining. Oh, we got a delivery, and then I get to zoom in on them, and I don't know. I, I'm a dork. I, I enjoy the Ring app right oh, now. Oh, I didn't realize you'd have that much fun with Voyeur. it. Voyeur. Oh, oh, yeah. Man. Go back and t- if I grab a package, I'll make a certain point to put on a show because it shows up on my wife's phone as well, so later on she'll click on the link and then there'll be me like shaking my belly in front of the camera. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even think about that. You could put on shows for everybody else in the family. Yep. Anyone who has the uh, app. Oh, that's uh, okay. Now that's possibilities. All right, Danny, what's the app your go-to? Starbucks. Starbucks. I oh, good call. The coffee good good call, Danny. Rev? Uh, I have this app called Nexia, which uh, controls my thermostat. So it's amazing because I can actually get weather reports from my phone from this app from for my house and i can change the uh, temperature too <laughs> that you know it's so funny i have that myself but it's like it's hooked into another system that controls my tv but you get weather reports yeah yeah i oh, have the whole weather nice. reports and uh, i'll let you know that right now it is in a 69 degrees in my home nice, nice. <laughs> So we have our set up, but I have to. I'm, I'm old school. I get off the couch and I set the thermostat. Oh, there's no way I'm doing that yeah. anymore. Oh, you know, what, know. You, once you once you go mobile, I guess you never go back. Well, you got to show you to the man of the house. I'll take care of that, honey. Totally. Uh, is that how it works? Because when my wife's like, it's kind of cold. I'm like, well, sh- bump up the temperature if you're cold. Oh man, that's her. That's that's what they call invitation. It allows you to do something for her without her actually asking you to do it. Well, I'm busy watching wrestling, DJ. Oh, I don't want to yeah, be invited well, to anything. This is why you guys have a happy marriage. You know the secrets to communication. 
Let's talk about a couple that's no longer happy. They're actually no longer together, and they don't even live in the same state anymore. But on Saturday night, cops in Colorado got a 911 call from a woman who said that she was hiding in the basement of her ex-boyfriend's house because he had a gun and he was threatening to kill her. Here's oh. the problem. None of that was going on. But the oh. cops, they took it serious because, well, it sounded like a serious situation. Yeah. They swarmed the guy's house. The boyfriend opened up the door, let them in. And he's like, yeah, uh, my ex-girlfriend's not even in the state. That girl's not even living in Colorado. And then they track it all down and they figure out that she was just trying to get revenge on him for whatever reason. So you're like, okay, well, she's going to be in a lot of trouble. But oddly enough, in a weird way, she helped out the cops. Because while they were raiding the ex-boyfriend's house, they also surrounded a camper that was in his backyard, made everyone inside of that camper come out. What kind of household's going on around yeah, here? Yeah, what the? Well, one of the guys inside that camper is a, a guy by the name of Lawrence, who was a wanted fugitive. Oh, so they arrested him. Oh, look at that. So I know like what she did was wrong, but in a weird way, she helped out the cops. You know, they say birds of a feather. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like where there's smoke, there's fire. It's like usually if someone's got a lot of drama in their life, it's because they're probably doing stuff they shouldn't be doing. I don't hang out with anyone named Lawrence. Larry's oh. are fine. Lawrence. Oh, but Lawrence, no, you don't <laughs> go for the Lawrence. No, not at all. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> Talk about a massive screw-up. This happened with a pharmaceutical distributor by the name of Avcare. They had to issue a recall because they accidentally missed up. I'm laughing, but it's a serious thing. I mean, because you don't want to get hurt by this. But uh, they mixed up depression medication with erectile dysfunction medication. Oh, that's a whole different situation. It's like, oh, I'm still sad, but I have... Yeah. I seem to be extra happy in my pants. Yeah. Though I feel like I would be happy if I, you know, then, you know, if, if they, all of a sudden I was thinking about that. But all right. So, but still, you don't want to mix that up. No, huh? of course. And it, it would be dangerous to take med- medicine that's uh, not prescribed for you. Fortunately, though, there haven't been any negative side effects from anybody. But they're obviously, if you uh, use Avcare and use it for uh, stiffies or depression. <laughs> <laughs> Stiffies or depression? Is that the medical term? Yes, that's uh, yeah, actually okay. from uh, yeah. the. Uh, what do you got, sir? Uh, uh, directors. Uh, one of two things, sir. I think I have a stiffy or depression. I need. I don't know. Do you have any app care? That's what I'm looking for. We got this text, and I did see that this morning. Someone said, "Hey, did you see that Chris Cornell's wife dropped a new album from Chris Cornell called No One Sings Like You Anymore? Ten cover songs, including Lennon, ELO, and a bunch of others. Yeah, I thought that was really cool. This morning, you wake up, and there's a new Chris Cornell record. Like you said, it's called No One Sings Like You Anymore. Something that Chris was recording and planning on putting out before. He left us. Uh, it's 10 cover songs. It includes that cover of um, uh, of uh, Patience by Guns N' Roses that you've heard here on The Rock. Also oh. his version of uh, Prince slash Sinead O'Connor's Nothing Compares to You. But then also on top of it, it's got a great cover of a Janet Joplin song called Get It While You Can. Harry Nielsen's on this as well. Wow. Ghostland Observatory, uh, Electric Light or- Orchestra, like the texture said. John Lennon, a bunch of other ones as well. It's a really cool record. It's not just him acoustic. It's a full band effort on some of the songs. And uh, Vicky Cornell put out a statement saying this album is so special because it's a complete work of art that Chris created from start to finish. His choice of covers provide a personal look into his favorite artists and the songs that touched him. He couldn't wait to release it. Boy, this is a bittersweet present. I'm glad she did it, but man... Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing some of these. It's really good. I listened to it this morning, though. I did have to stop after all because it it does put you in a a, a mind space that maybe you don't want to have on a Friday because you start missing the guy. His voice sounds incredible on it. Yeah. Oh, man. Big weekend, boys. Tomorrow. What's going on? The Sounders are playing for the MLS Cup for the fourth time in five years. Come on. They're in the MLS Cup and they're hoping to win their third star, right? They call them a star. Yeah. Their their third cup. They're taking on the Columbus crew. If you want to watch that game, 5 p.m. on Fox. Nice. Go Sounders. So excited. So we're on the big network. Damn straight. Fox. Then the next day at 1 o'clock on CBS, you watch your Seattle Seahawks taking on the very powerful New York Jets as Uh, Danny shows us. Oh, no. Battle of Seahawks shirt. He's rocking a Seahawks shirt and a Sounders shirt. Oh, he's really got it going on. I'm ready for this weekend. If the Seahawks... Look... If you don't hear us on Monday mornings because the Seahawks lost to the uh, winless New York Jets, yeah, I think I, we take the day off. Yeah, I, I'm with you on that one. I mean, I, I it, but I'm still going to be paying attention to how the game goes. Oh, of course. You know what I mean? I feel like, okay, we should win, but my gosh. The Seahawks are known for playing at the level of the I team know. that they play. So I'd imagine that this game is going to go down to like a final field. But after last night, 
Oh, man, the Rams just crushed the Pats. I know. 24-3. to three. Well, the Rams don't play to the, the quality of the teams that they play against. So it's it's a whole different environment there, BJ. <laughs> I mean, the, you know, the, and look, the Pats aren't a horrible team. They're a 500 team. So, I mean, the, the Pats are, you know, I mean, they're not as bad as the Jets. But wow. still, the I mean, I think the Rams just look good. How about the Pats, though? This is uh, seven losses on the season. First time since 2002 that the, the, the New England Patriots have not ha- have had something like that. And people are just crucifying Bill Belichick. I don't know if you watch the game at all, but Bill Belichick all season long has been having a very difficult time when it comes to wearing masks. Yeah. Almost no different than Pete Carroll. Pete Carroll's constantly taking his mask off and he's getting fined for it. Bill Belichick, earlier in the season, everyone was making fun of him because well, he had a mask on what looked like it was on upside down because the, yeah. the pointy part was in the wrong spot. Then he had looked like he was wearing two masks during one game. And yesterday... It appears that he cut a hole in the mask so that he was able to talk. Ah! Is he? Did you see that? Is ah! he on, oh, I did, oh, yeah, look at that. Some weird, like, it almost oh. looked like a weird, like, half gimp mask. I don't think I realized oh, that geez. as the game was going on. I don't think I saw that. Like, what do you think? Give me some scissors. I'm sick of this mask. Oh, he's, well, you know, but that's the, that, that's Belichick. That's how they've always been in the Patriots. I do what I want. I love one person said on Twitter, it's pretty incredible that a football genius can't figure out how to wear a simple mask on his face. Oh, well, I think he knows how to wear it. He just doesn't want it. Why don't they do what Andy Reid does? Andy Reid's got the shield, and that seems to be okay for the NFL. Yeah, he's rocking the BJ uh, shield. Yeah, uh, those, those things are great. <laughs> and to me, you don't even know they're there. I can't tell you how many times I've spilled water on myself taking a drink because I forgot the mask was there. That's funny. <laughs> oh yeah, dude! I I I challenge How do you anybody. Not know you to have wa- a giant shield in front dude, of your face. That's what I'm telling you. They become invisible, and you don't. You really forget you have it. I, I know you can't believe it. When somebody told me that, I laughed too. When they said yeah. when, when they were wearing it, and I and wasn't. Then you did it. And well, I, did it. I, I I laugh at you, but I've tried to take a sip of coffee while I still have my mask on, and it was just the cloth one. Oh yeah, so you got the, yeah, and the cloth one you can feel these these. Oh man. I say that's what I don't have any sympathy for for the people who say they can't wear a mask. Wear a shield. I thought that was just so funny. I looked at the picture. I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. And it's not like as if like it was a. I mean, it looks like he legit just took a pair of scissors and quickly cut off. Yeah, hole in he's it. Uh, he's yeah he's just a delightful gentleman. Uh, as far as weather, 45 degrees. It's going to be cloudy, and that's the major part. And that's what's up. Yeah, man. And yesterday, Steve, he did get this one right. The condition ADD stands for what? Attention deficit. Oh, look at it. It's a bird. <laughs> Disorder. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you want a shot at PDC? You got a 206-421-ROCK. We'll play Beat Mix. We'll do that at 647 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. What's the difference between filing for bankruptcy and credit counseling? Uh, credit counseling is a is a useful process in some circumstances, but it does show up on your credit. In fact, from a credit scoring standpoint, credit counseling shows up just like a bankruptcy, so it's going to affect your credit as negatively as filing bankruptcy. In credit counseling, the idea is, is that a credit counselor works with your creditors on your behalf to try to lower interest rates or work out payment plans with your creditors uh, to, to pay back your debt over time. Uh, in credit counseling, you almost always pay back 100% of the debt, sometimes at lower interest. And, of course, some creditors will participate in that process and some won't. Uh, so you're usually left with kind of a mixed uh, result with credit counseling and, of course, a high payment. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. Thanks for listening. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound low, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details, U.S. only. With prices soaring at the pump, filling up can be stressful. That's why Discover has your back with cash back. Use Discover to earn 5% cash back at gas stations and Target, now through June, on up to $1,500 in purchases when you activate. We know every dollar matters right now, but you can count on us. Get up to $75 cash back this quarter with your Discover It card. Limitations apply. Learn more at discover.com rewards.